If you were to give one word to describe the book of Revelation chapter 19, it would be the word victory. In Revelation 19, we see Jesus returning victorious. We see this battle of Armageddon unfolding. And it's amazing how Jesus returns. I want to read a number of verses to you from Revelation 19. Let's look at verse 11 and we'll read through verse 16. John writes this, Then I saw heaven opened and a white horse was standing there. Its rider was named Faithful and True, for he judges fairly and wages a righteous war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and a name was written on him that no one understood except himself. He wore a robe dipped in blood, and the title was the Word of God. The armies of heaven, dressed in the finest of pure white linen, followed him on white horses. From his mouth came a sharp sword to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron rod. He will release the fierce wrath of God, the Almighty, like juice flowing from a wine press. On his robe, at his thigh, was written the title, King of all kings and Lord of all lords. You see, as you read the 19th chapter of Revelation today, you're going to see that theme, victory, just exude from every single verse from this chapter. The beautiful thing about the book of Revelation is that it does reveal to us what will happen in the end. But the focus is the revelation of who Jesus is. Did you catch that name of Jesus? It's in verse 16, King of all kings, Lord of all lords. Today, I am so thankful that the one that I serve, Jesus, the one who hung on a cross for you and me, well, he's also the savior and the mighty King of kings who's coming back to rule and reign righteously and justly. So today I wanna to encourage you as you're reading, be reminded of who really is your king, who really is in control, that he will one day right every wrong and rule righteously. I pray that that truth guides your emotions and decisions today, the way you treat people, that you and I are saved by one who is strong and mighty and will rule justly. So today, in every relationship, in every opportunity. Serve Jesus well, that King of Kings. He is worth your good attitude, your, your right work ethic, and he's worth your heart and desire to follow him heart, head, and hands today. Jesus is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and as Revelation 19 shows you and me today, he is victorious.